Welcome back to Pet Pals. We've got five beautiful cats that we're going to take a look at that are in need of adoption. First one up is Rosebud. She is a domestic long hair tortoise shell, and some folks would classify her as an orange tortoise shell. Um, the color classification of tortoise shell is sort of a blending of orange and black, and when it's predominantly orange, referred to as an orange tortie. So this is Rosebud. She came to us previously owned. It is deceptive because she's only about seven pounds. Um, the fur makes her look a little bit larger than the seven pounds that she is. She's about four years old. Uh, she came to us already spayed, so her owners did the right thing by having that done. And the reason she ended up with us, the person had uh, Rosebud for, for Rosebud's whole entire life since she was a kitten, and then the son in the family developed allergies, so Rosebud ended up with us. Um, she's been around children, six years old and up. She lived with one other cat. Um, so it's important to note that, you know, if, if you do introduce pets into your family, you want to be committed for the pet's whole entire life. Now, circumstances do change and allergies do develop, but sometimes there's ways around that. And prior to relinquishing a pet to the shelter, you want to call ahead and if there's, you know, if you're interested in keeping your pet, we always have ideas and suggestions, things that you can put into place to actually keep your pet in your family without um, jeopardizing anybody's health. One of the things that folks uh, tell me a lot of times during adoption interviews is that they intend the pet to sleep with their child, and I'm, I'm fairly opposed to that only because I think that kids especially need at least eight hours of free and clear respiratory time um, where they're not you know, inhaling dander or fur, um, not waking up to fur on their pillows. So as, as endearing as it is to, to have a pet share, you know, nighttime with your, your child, sometimes you do have to make those choices as to what, what's in the best interest of, of both the pet and the child. But Rosebud has already been, um, again, already spayed. We've tested her for feline leukemia and FIV. And we do that for all of the cats on the adoption floor. Uh, FIV is one of those uh, viruses that once they test negative, unless you put them with, um, unless they are bitten by a cat that's got FIV, chances are unlikely they'll develop it. And then leukemia, though, can test negative on day one, and then from day 30 through 90, um, they actually test positive. So we do recommend that in about a three-month period, discuss with your vet. Your vet's going to be your best friend once you adopt an animal from us. Um, maybe retesting, if there, especially if there's any symptoms similar to an upper respiratory infection. But this is Rosebud again. She is beautiful. She is friendly. You can tell she's very comfortable on Randy's lap, and she is looking for a home.